So today we're gonna make the perfect finger food snacker monkey bread pizza. My friends and I love making this for movie night because you can just pull off the pieces, there's not much mess, and you don't have to have any plates. And you're gonna need 40 ounces of pizza dough for this recipe. It may seem like a lot, but you're gonna be filling up this bundt pan. You also need an eight ounce ball of mozzarella cheese. I've just cubed that already, so we've got about 50 pieces of cubed mozzarella cheese here. And you also need a package of pepperoni, and you can use turkey pepperoni too if you wanna cut the calories. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take about a grape-sized ball of pizza dough and just flatten it out into a circle. You wanna make sure that the circle is a little bit bigger than your piece of pepperoni. And then put a slice of pepperoni right in the center and then one of your cubed pieces of mozzarella. And fold the edges over the pepperoni and the mozzarella Make sure you press this in really tightly because you don't want them to open when it's baking. So you take your little pizza ball and I've created a mixture of vegetable oil and red pepper flakes. You just dunk it right in there. Make sure you get some red pepper flakes right on there. And once you've dunked that in there, put this in the bun pan and then just repeat until you're done. And this is a really fun recipe to make with kids. You can also leave out the pepperoni and just add more cheese if you want to. So we finished making all of our little pizza dough balls. You can tell that the bunt pan's about two thirds full. It's gonna rise when it's in the oven. So we're gonna go pop this in the oven. I've already preheated it to 400 degrees. And we're gonna leave this in there for about 35 minutes or until the top browns. So it's been about 35 minutes now and we're gonna check on our monkey bread pizza and the top has just browned over, so it looks like it's ready. I'm gonna put this right on a cooling rack, and we're gonna let this cool for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then it'll be ready for dipping. So after our monkey bread pizza has cooled off for a little bit, we're gonna flip it over onto a plate. You may wanna enlist a friend for this, but we're gonna try it today by ourselves. Just put the plate right over the top of it. And then flip it over. So it should come out really easily. Just lift that bunt pan up, and we're good. So while our monkey bread pizza was baking, I heated up two cups of marinara sauce. And you can use pizza sauce, marinara sauce, whatever you want. It's perfect for dunking. So you just pull off one of your little chunks of pepperoni and mozzarella goodness. Dunk it into the sauce and enjoy. Mm. This is the perfect recipe for movie night or if you're watching the big game, make sure to log on to our Facebook and Twitter page and let us know how your monkey bread pizza turned out. ESM Living is brought to you in part by Prairie Meadows and Altoona, Iowa's favorite place to play and now stay.